All right, guys, I've been seeing a lot of people uh, chaining Maxi when they really shouldn't chain Maxi. So we are going to have an introductory guide to Maxi and talk about when you should and when you should not chain Maxi to activate Maxi. Now, for those of you who are new to the game, during either player's turn, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. This turn, each time your opponent special summons a monster or monsters, so if they summon two monsters at once, you only get one card. Immediately draw one card. You can only use one maxi per turn. So maxi is a very, very good card in the current metagame and Master Duel. So good that it's actually banned in the TCG at the time of making this video. So what should we chain maxi to? So if your opponent activates a 10e effect and 10e sword soul to special summon a 10e from the hand, that is something that you would want to chain maxi to because then they're going to have one monster on the field and they have to choose do they want to continue their combo and extend or do they want to stop their turn right there, set back row, and pass to you because otherwise you're going to be getting a lot of cards, just a lot of cards and more cards in your hand typically is better because you have more resources to play out of whatever lock your opponent is trying to put you in. When your opponent activates the Tri-Brigage effect to summon, not the Tri-Brigage effect to send to graveyard, but the Tri-Brigage effect to summon, like if they use uh, Miracle's effect here to banish any number of Warriors, Queen Beast, whatever, to special summon, that is when you would want to activate Maxi. The effect to add a card from deck to hand that is not when you would want to activate Maxi. Tri Brigade, Brigade Caress. His effect, um, when he lets you discard a beast to special summon him, you do want to activate Maxi to that because they're either going to leave him on the field and not do the summon, or they are going to do the summon and you're going to get two cards. And two cards, uh, let's just say you're going second, your opponent's doing the shenanigans during their first turn to establish a board. Two extra cards will help you play out of that board. Any and all of the Drytron effects that would special summon something. Most of the time it special summons that Drytron. Any and all of the Drytron effects, yes, you absolutely want to activate Maxi. And you want to do this before they have Herald on the board, because otherwise they're just going to negate uh, Maxi with Herald. When they activate the Ritual spell, the Metastasis Drytron, um, or Really, if your opponent activates any ritual spell, uh, yes, you would want to chain Maxi because you'll be able to draw a card. Uh, when your opponent activates Fusion Destiny, if you can't stop the Fusion Destiny, you might as well activate Maxi because you're going to be able to draw a card. Anytime your opponent puts a Zodiac on board, if you want your opponent not to spam out a ton of Zodiac monsters, the second they normal summon that Zodiac, you can uh, activate Maxi and that will hopefully discourage them from going off or they're gonna just go into dry dump, pop one thing and destroy one thing and you get one card. But either way, uh, Maxi is a good deterrent from your opponent just spamming special summons. The card basically uh, is a deterrent just as much as it is something for you to gain advantage. Next we have Sky Striker Ace Ray. So when they summon Ray, if you activate Maxi, they're going to chain Ray effect and they're going to get the Sky Striker anyway. So if you're trying to play around Ray, I wouldn't necessarily mm -hmm. um, use Maxi the second they summon Ray because they're going to tag out into a link and get the effect anyway. Most of the time, I actually let them summon the one link monster and then I will activate Maxi because they're basically going to have to stop on only the one Sky Striker Link monster instead of going into additional uh, Sky Striker Link monsters. And I know that sounds ass backwards, but if you chain uh, Maxi to the Ray Summon, they're just going to activate Ray's effect because it's a quick effect. If you see anything that's a quick effect, Similar example is Incredible Ecclesia. Anything that's a quick effect, if you chain Maxi to the summon, they're just going to chain the quick effect and they're going to get the special summon 
and you're not going to get the card from XE. You're just going to waste it. So if they activate the quick effect, that would be the time to use Maxi. Like when they summon Incredible Ecclesia, don't Maxi. But the second they use that quick effect, you absolutely want to Maxi because when they bring out Fall of Albaz, you're going to draw a card from that summon. And then if they choose to use the effect, you're going to draw a card from Fall of Albaz fusion effect as well. So being able to uh, discourage your opponent from overextending while also drawing cards, very good effect. We already covered the 10 E's. Uh, side note for Shana, uh, you'll probably never really see the Banish from Graveyard and Special Limit the Destroy Monster effect on it. But if you do, uh, you can chain Maxi to that effect. Otherwise, you would just be chaining Maxi to like the reveal effect of the 10 E to Special Summon. <laughs> and that goes for all the 10 E's. Next we have Dragon Maid. So when you see like all the Dragon Maids, most of them have the effect uh, at the start of the battle phase, you can return it to the hand and if you do special summon a Dragon Maid, that is what you would chain to. You would not chain to the summon. Next we have Sword Soul and Mo Yi. So any of the Sword Souls, when they activate their effect to special summon the token, you absolutely want to use Maxi because then they have the token on board and they have to choose if uh, they want to give you one card for just summoning the token or if they want to continue their combo and give you two to potentially many more cards. So that's why uh, Maxi is very good against Sword Soul. Uh, Sword Soul Strategist Long One, whenever they activate the effect to summon him, I typically chain Maxi because then. Uh, I get one for the uh, long one, and then I'll get another card for the token if they choose to summon the token. Sometimes they will not. And then if they uh, synchro, I will get a additional card. So I'll end up with three cards for one effect, basically, that they use because they're going to be summoning so many times. That's why Maxi is such a good card against combo decks. Uh, we've already covered uh, the 10 effects pretty much. Uh, Ashuna, whenever they would banish it from the grave or hand when they have a non-effect monster to summon, that's another time when you could use Maxi to chain to get uh, one card when they beam something out from the deck. Monster Reborn is not necessarily the best thing to chain Maxi on. You typically would want to look at what they're targeting to bring back first, but if you know they're going to go into a combo or you just really want the one card, you can chain to Monster Reborn. Same kind of same logic with invocation. You're basically only be, going to be getting one card, but you can do it if you want. Uh, Fusion Destiny, I absolutely will chain it to that because once again, I'm only getting one card, but uh, sometimes I might need that to play out of uh, Destiny Hero Phoenix Enforcer. If you think they're only going to activate Phoenix, Fusion Destiny or they're activating it last and you have it max seed sometime before then, the one card might not really be worth it to you. Uh, Drytron Nova, I absolutely will chain it to Drytron Nova because they're going to special summon the one Drytron and hopefully this will discourage them to uh, overextend too much or at the very least give me resources to play out of the Drytron uh, Herald board. Despia Theater of the Branded, so you do not activate this when they activate the card. You will activate this when they activate the card's effect once the card is already on the field. So. During your main phase, you can fusion summon the one level 8 or higher fusion monster from your extra deck. That is the effect you will chain uh, max C to. Um, Brandon and Red, the only time you will chain max C to this is if you want to discourage them from doing a combo or summoning something from the extra deck because they have the option to not summon from the extra deck and just add something to hand. So if uh, encouraging them to not summon something is what you're really going for or if they do summon something you want a card to play out of it then maxi could be good but it will not be as much value as chaining it to something like uh, Drytron or a Thoroughblade like a Zodiac card or a Trivriage Kit. Um, and now that we went over some like really common targets, oh wait we, we missed one in here, uh, Virtual World Karen and the rest of the virtual world cards. Whenever your opponent plays one of these, if you 
do the thing Yu-Gi-Oh players hate and read the card to see if it can special summon, then typically you will want to activate uh, Max C in order to discourage them from going into the uh, True King VFD combo or just doing a bunch of general shenanigans. Uh, and with that, we're going to talk about what cards not to chain Maxi to. I see some people chain Maxi to Potter Duality. Don't do this. The card straight up says your opponent can't special summon. Don't do this. So many people do this, I don't know if they're memeing or if they just don't read the full text of the card. Don't chain Maxi to this card. Please, please, please stop. Just like... Um, People chain Maxi to Pot of Extrav sometimes. Just because I'm using Extrav doesn't mean I'm going to special summon. Don't chain Maxi to Extrav. Don't chain Maxi to Pot of Prosperity. Stop it. I don't know why you guys are doing this, but stop it. Um, and next we have Hidden City. I see people chaining uh, Maxi to Hidden City all the time. Just because I'm playing Hidden City doesn't mean I'm going to Special Summon. The time you would actually chain Maxi against Subterrors would be when I'm going to summon uh, the big dude that banishes, or if I'm going to use Phoenix Effect to summon Guru back from Grave to try to gain more advantage. Do not activate Maxi against the Hidden City. Just because someone is playing a field spell does not mean that they are going to Special Summon and go plus 10 during their turn. Make sure you are reading the card. I know it's a game of Yu-Gi-Oh! We hate reading in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Make sure you are reading the card and going to the little info thing over here um, and seeing which effect they're resolving, if it has multiple effects, and if they're actually special summoning something, that is when you use Maxi. Um, I hope that this video wasn't a complete meme and actually helped some people that might be new to the game or... Uh, got into Master Duel after Maxi was banned in the TCG. And I just remember one more um, card I definitely want to add to this list of things that you would want to chain to. Any of the Cyframes. You'll probably only ever see Gamma, but any of the Cyframes. When they activate their Gamma to stop something, you absolutely want to maxi because they're going to special gamma and then they're going to special driver and you are going to get two cards and that is going to be a good time. But anyway, uh, if you like this video, leave me a like down below. If you dislike this video, leave me a dislike. It will help me know uh, what content to avoid or make in the future. And if you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! or Let's Play content, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.